Yeah, the, they have all the money because they have the central banks, they have the government, they have the taxation. And so things like the CIA have like black budget operations. And you mentioned that you don't think Chris Cantwell got paid, which that'd be just funny because he really should get paid for what he did. He earned it. <laughs> this is sort of another <laughs> pathetic day in the life of Chris Cantwell. He didn't even get paid for being like a uh, useful, useless idiot or useful idiot. Um, <laughs> And, uh, you know, so we're, we're facing like this huge, you know, like they've got all the money, they got so they got the they got the TV with programming. And so they got so many people brainwashed uh, and then they got the government indoctrination camps where they're brainwashing them. So what that gets is like the huge, almost insurmountable enemy. But at the same time, it seems like our thing is growing and, and almost you can almost see like the potential of us winning at some point, not in centuries and maybe not even in decades, but maybe in years, like I can kind of almost see that glimmer of hope starting to, to shine right now. So yep. it's pretty amazing, isn't it? That uh, despite, that's how hard it is to keep this craziness all going. <laughs> you have to have like all the money, all the power, all the, all the communication channels. And if that ever gets broken in some respect, and you know, Bitcoin is breaking the money system, the internet is breaking their, their control of media, um, uh, that they, they can't keep that going. What, yeah. What's your take on that? It, well, that's a perfect segue into candles in the dark because all of that mm. money, all of that power, all of that violence doesn't do any good if the victim class figures out the game and the victim class stops imagining it to be legitimate. Because all, you know, people say, oh, they have all those guns. They are vastly, massively outnumbered and outgunned by normal people with guns, in the U.S. at least. The difference is the normal people with guns are also brainwashed into feeling a moral obligation to bow to the state, so their guns don't do any good. It's like if you could, you know, well, a carjacker is attacking an armed guy, but the armed guy thinks the carjacker is some holy representative of God <laughs> and therefore has a right to steal his car. Well, then what good is the gun going to do you if you think, you, you know, you have an obligation to put up with being robbed? And that's the current state of things. But if the mindset changes, and it already has in a lot of people, but if it continues to change, you don't need to overthrow this big, powerful thing. And back when I was a statist and, and, and into politics and something I and stuff, I, I viewed it as this massively powerful thing. Without the hearts and minds of the normal people, it isn't anything. Like, okay, now you have a few politicians in a corner telling us how important they are and how powerful they are, and 300 million people just going, no, you're not, bye. <laughs> and that's it. That's, that's the end. So people sort of, <laughs> and I only came to realize the significance when I came to realize that the belief in authority is the entire problem. Because if the people, never mind what the politicians believe, I don't care. They can be tyrants and sadistic psychos. If they're intended victims don't believe in political authority, don't believe in the divine right of politicians, it all just goes poof. You don't even need a revolution. Now, somewhere between here and there, when the you know, control freaks get, get desperate and nasty, things will probably get ugly. When there's a, a number of people ready to, dis, ready to disobey and resist, and a number of thugs ready to shoot at them when they do, things in between can get ugly. But in the long run, the entire game happens between the ears of normal people and changing their minds. And that's why Candles in the Dark is called Candles in the Dark. Each little candle representing a light of somebody understanding the truth of, of self-ownership and non-aggression and then lighting another one and lighting another one. And when there are enough, it lights up everything and we won. It's not like, then we can go have a revolution. It's like, then we don't need a revolution. You just step <laughs> just away from the over. monster and let it go. <laughs> Because that's, that's all it is. It's a few psychos who've convinced their victims that this game is legitimate. And if you can do away with that belief in the good people, it doesn't matter what the bad people think or believe or do. Because without that belief in authority, none of the rest of it works. None of the conspiracies work. The, the, the fiat currency doesn't work. The taxation doesn't work. All the law enforcement doesn't work. The warmongering doesn't work. I mean, look at warmongering. It's two sets of duped authoritarian pawns killing each other while two sets of politicians sit back and go, look how dumb these people are. We tell them to go murder each other and they do. And the day that they all go, look how dumb we are, they tell us to murder each other and we do, is the day war ends. And that's all you need to make war end. And I think we are heading in that direction. And Candles in the Dark is just uh, you know, another way that I think can help spread it of teaching people to do the one-on-one -on -one discussions 
because that's how a lot of people are, are already have and will continue to give up their statism is just happening to have a conversation with somebody they know who's already an anarchist and having a you know if you can make it be calm and rational and actually get through to them and there are ways to do that um, unbeknownst to most people including most anarchists and more and more people if they stop believing they should be slaves they stop being slaves and when enough people do that you win without having to you know charge against the giant beast of something because there is no giant beast there's a giant imaginary authority and when everybody stops imagining it there's nothing to fight it's not there it never was there but when we act as if it is there including the thugs claiming to act on its behalf we're we're literally killing each other for the benefit of a bunch of crooks because of what we were taught and if we're untaught that we stop doing that and that's you know that's the beginning of humanity is when the people stop falling for the authoritarian mythology that they were taught by the ruling class.